It's all because of Daniel and where I am today. Reddish, because we come to visit Reddish Ales. Daniel tells me it's owned by top lads and ladies that are local to the area. Tells us they do good booze, great pub snacks, Sunday roasts. They do regular collabs with different food traders. I've got a feeling this is going to be a good one. Matt. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? Very good. Welcome to our bar. Thank you very much. It's a cool little pub as well, isn't it? Thank you. It looks yeah. like a proper local boozer. That's what we were aiming for. I also noticed as well that you do quite a lot of food. Considering, and I mean this in the nicest possible way, how small you are. We kind of have seasonal menus, use like lots of local produce, so trying something different in a you know in an area that doesn't really have anything like it. So. And you've got quite a selection of booze as well, haven't you? We do. We have um, three cask lines that change all the time, four cask lines that change constantly. Always have a stout line, always have a cider and always have a lager. So. Shall we have a drink? Yes, what would you like? It's that day? sort of day, isn't it? Hot yeah. and dull, yeah. which is how my ex-girlfriend used to describe me. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Hot, mate, yes, yeah, you um, Cheers. Cheers, Craig. Considering you're just a little pub, look at all this that's come out of your kitchen. I'm a stupid guy, yeah? No, you're not. <laughs> this is cool. And what I really like about it is every day it's something different. So let's work our way through the days of the week. So Monday is where we try and make a bit of extra room for people who've always worked all weekend. Um, so it's hospitality day. Discount for hospitality workers. We give them a sticker and they come and oh, uh, wow, look wow. after them. Ah, good. Yeah, the beef salami. Is it beef salami? Beef salami, ex dairy cattle, so you've got that extra richness in the fat. It's very good. Cobble Link Yard, London, London um, charcuterie, one of the best. It does good as well. Yeah, half whole meal, which is a bit unconventional. Uh, I really like the flour that I use and I'm trying to use English organic, interesting things. It's good pizza, man. It's good pizza. And what a start to the week. Yeah, Monday's perfect. Mondays are perfect. <laughs> What happens on a Wednesday then, Craig? Wednesdays, wings. Wing Wednesday. Love a bit of uh, wordplay. We've uh, we've collaborated with Bampad Thai just down the road. Who are those like, guys? Thai restaurant. Uh, Local. Uh, yeah, just down the road. Like you can probably see it from here. Very good Thai food. He brings the sauces. I do the rest. These are in his special rib sauce. This is great. Littlewood's chicken. No pissing about there. And Littlewood's uh, five minutes down just the road. Down the road. Yeah, we yeah. have a really good relationship. Yeah, they're good guys, they know their stuff. I try and keep a little bit of a spirit of that all the time. We've done pizza nights with people with people like Luis from Cafe San Juan. But only even the sauces change, so I might do once a month with Ben, but he'll give me a different sauce. So we might put them in Thai green curry sauce. We used to do burgers, Thai green curry burger. This is one of the best pubs I've ever been to in my life. So we're is. trying our best. It, I love it. <laughs> Obviously. Ooh. Awesome. Put those cameras down, lads. Have some of these before we do anything else. Come on. English tapas happens on a Thursday. What is English tapas? It's a silly thing. Well, not a silly thing. It's, a, it's an integral thing. It's like you take each individual ingredient, any vegetable you want to use, and you just cook that, and that's the plate. You know, you try and make a plate celebrating each ingredient to try and fill a table with seasonal British food. So we've got the carrots, you know, new season carrots. So come with their foliage on. Really sweet. They've just been simply roasted. And then they're tossed in an almond butter, drizzled with a bit of honey, and then topped with a bit of ducker. Not a phrase I think I've ever uttered before, but I think that might be the best carrot I've ever had. They're very nice carrots. But honestly. Courgettes, sliced, simply grilled, and then just uh, in my, I made, a, I made a zatar blend. Grill them, marinate them in rapeseed oil and zatar. That's that little bit of lemon on the finish. No disrespect to your company, but I'd love to just be sat in that corner. Plate of courgettes, <laughs> plate of carrots, pint, happy, table four. Yeah. Fridays. Fridays, always busy in the bar. So, you know, everyone comes in after work. Meatboards, cheese boards, sometimes we'll have sausage rolls, got chegs, bits and pieces like that. Classic bar snacks and a bit of cheese and, cheese and meat. Cobble Lane Cured do the the best charcuterie in the country, in my opinion. Yeah. So I'll get them in. Get my cheese from Courtyard Dairy. Um, amazing, you know, they, yep, I know they're well. curating the best, so you know you're in safe hands. Stockport, at the minute, yep. is having a real moment. Yeah, for sure. Everyone's buzzing off Stockport. But is that lending itself out to the suburbs like Reddish? 
I think so. There's a bit of a spread, you know, I'm trying to, I get my mates to come here for, you know, people I know from Stockport, you know, people from work in the market or like, like what Mark Wineboy and um, Luis from Cafe San Juan, drag them out here and they love it. It's about that extension of the extending the vibe. And like I say, like working with uh, Bampa Thai just down yeah. the road, it's just trying to bring everyone together. A few pubs have closed in the area, breweries have closed in the area, and all those beer refugees, if you like, have found a new home here. The beer refugees. Sundays are called soft Sundays. Soft Sundays came out of like lockdown when we were trapped in a flat in Finsbury Park initially. We'd have edibles for breakfast just to take the edge off. Our tradition was you would you were doing absolutely nothing on yeah. a Sunday. You're going to have something nice to eat, get the barbecue on, take it very easy. That's what Sundays are all about, isn't it? Sundays are all about doing as little as possible, but with maximum impact. Yeah. So in here now, we have someone playing records on a Sunday. This week, we've got Jason Boardman, friend, great Jason DJ, yeah, great top. DJ. He's been around the scene a long time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You do little mini roasts on a Sunday as well. Little ones chicken as well, I'm assuming. Yeah, bit of roast chicken. Um, and we've, instead of stuffing on this one, I've done um, pasta frita, which is deep fried dough. Sunday in the summer, mm -hmm. summer grill menu. So I make flatbread on the bottom, vegetables, couple of sauces, grilled pork belly. Slow, egg, slow yeah. cooked and then refried, so it's crispy on the. Just dropped a bit on the floor, did you see it? Pork belly. Just melts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Slow cooks, re roasted. What Sundays are all about. I'm not leaving, mate. I've just heard the two best words in the English language lock in. So I'm going to stay here. They've knocked me up on the groaning. I'm going to have some more carrots. I'm going to put the shutters down and I'm staying. Oh, and by the way, if you've got somewhere you want us to visit, don't forget to leave a little message below. See you later.